Practice Fusion Superbill is up to date with the latest ICD-10 diagnosis codes, so you can quickly populate bills for your visits. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create, fill out, and submit your super bills. You'll also learn how to use our integrated billing partners to complete your billing process. To get started, open a patient's chart and create an encounter. Once you've charted your patient's visit, you can go to Actions and select Add Superbill under Actions for this encounter. Alternatively, you can go to the Superbill section in the encounter and select Record. A Superbill for this encounter will open up in a new tab with the encounter date. Click on Add a Procedure and a panel will open up with a search box. You will see a list of your frequent CPT codes if you have billed before. Otherwise, start typing your CPT codes or keywords from the procedure's description to find your CPT code from the list that appears. You can select multiple CPT codes to add from this window. Just continue to search for the codes and select all that apply. Once you've added all of your CPT codes, click the Add button at the bottom to go back to the Superbill. After you've added your CPT codes, you can also edit any of the existing codes in your bill. Click on Edit and you'll be able to change the pertaining CPT code to a new code. You can also click on Delete to remove a CPT code from your Superbill at any time. For each procedure added, a corresponding diagnosis code must be selected. Under each procedure, you'll see links to add diagnoses, modifiers, and rates. Click on Add a Diagnosis. To start searching, select Search for a Diagnosis. In the search box that appears, enter either ICD-9 or ICD-10 codes to return ICD-10 results. The more descriptive your clinical search terms, the quicker you'll find the appropriate ICD-10 code. You can also type in the code description to see a list of related diagnosis codes. If there is a one-to-one -one match between the ICD-9 code and the ICD-10 code, select it from the list. If you see an orange notification, you will need to refine your ICD-10 code further. Select the code and either choose the correct ICD-10 code from the ICD-10 code list that appears, or use the filter button to narrow down your selection until you find the most specific billing code. Your ICD-10 codes will appear above the search field, and you can drag them on the left side to reorder them. Use the flyout panel to quickly add any diagnoses from the patient's chart, including the ones added to the patient's encounter, or select from your frequent list. If the code is still coded in ICD-9, a list of potential ICD-10 codes will appear for you to select the correct ICD-10 code. Click Done to add the code. You can always go and delete any codes that are not pertaining to that procedure by clicking on Delete. You have the option to add any modifiers by clicking on Add a Modifier and select from the list or type a modifier into the search box. Click Add when done. Lastly, you can add a rate into the rate section if it applies. If you're adding additional procedures, you'll see an option under the additional procedure you've added to duplicate diagnoses from previously entered procedures on the same super bill. Click the drop down menu and select which CPT code to copy the diagnosis codes from. This will help you save time when entering multiple procedures for the same set of DX codes. Under patient information, you will see the patient's identifying information and preferred insurance. If anything in this section is incorrect, save the bill as a draft and go to the patient's profile to update their information. Once you have saved the changes, return to the Superbill tab and click on the refresh next to this section. You'll now see the updated patient information. To edit any of the other details, click on Edit. In the window that appears, you can change the provider information, date range, facility, and other information for the bill. Rendering provider will default to the provider who created the encounter. You can also add in any notes for the biller. Click Add when done. Once you have completed your Superbill, select the status from the drop-down menu to either have it saved as a draft, be ready for your biller, or archived. Now that you've finished the bill, it is ready for your biller. If you have a biller in your practice, be sure to add the biller as a user to your Practice Fusion account. Your biller will be able to download the bill as an HL7 file to export by clicking on Download. Check with your billing company to see if they accept HL7 files. You can also print out a hard copy by selecting Print. If you use one of our integrated billing partners, when you select Ready for Biller, it will automatically be transferred into the connected billing system. You and your biller will also be able to use the billing report to quickly pull super bills. Go to Reports and select Billing Report. You can filter the bill by status in the drop-down menu. You can also narrow down the bill by date by selecting your range. To search for bills you've seen by a particular rendering provider, by location, or by patient, Write the appropriate search term into the search box and hit enter. 
Click on the bill ID to open up the bill for a particular patient. The super bill will open in a new tab on top. You can open multiple bills for the same patient and easily be able to view them all. Once you or your biller has processed the bill, change the status to archived. Practice Fusion provides free integrations with select billing partners to ensure you can easily submit bills and get fully reimbursed for your services. You can request a new account under Billing Solutions in the Settings section. Once you've connected to one of our integrated billing partners under Account Setup in the Billing Settings, your bills will automatically transfer with the ICD-10 and ICD-9 codes. Once the bill is processed successfully, it will automatically move to archive in the billing report. If you're using an integrated billing partner, you will need to make sure your insurance payer names and address match identically, which you can access under the payer list and settings. If there are any errors in the bill, it will come back to your billing report, and you'll be able to access the bills by clicking on the error status dropdown. Make any necessary modifications to fix the errors and select ready for biller to resend. Practice Fusion's billing is designed for any practice size and any billing workflow, so you can bill the way you want. Visit our knowledge base for additional resources on billing.